so we're here working on our rental in uh, uh, Venture Out, the RV community here on Cujo Key, which was ground zero for Hurricane Irma. And uh, while we were working, the Red Cross little van here, a food van, came by and offered us pulled pork sandwiches and apples. That was so nice. And I just thought I would let the folks around here know what these guys uh, are doing right now for people in this area. Can you guys uh, tell us a little bit about that? Well, hi. We're happy to be here. Red Cross mission is to alleviate human suffering after natural disasters and other types of events. So we're super glad to be here in the Keys. Um, part of what we're doing is called mobile feeding. So we've got Kathy from upstate New York, Stephanie from Michigan, and I'm Dave, I'm from Minnesota. And what we're doing is hoping to give people a break. They're working hard, they're sweating, they're tired. Uh, and we're trying to get them a good hot meal. Like me and uh, my husband. Yep, that's right. <laughs> uh, people need to take care of themselves, you know, and uh, recovering from this kind of stuff, it's one step at a time. So it's having some water, having a meal, taking a break, making sure you're rested, making sure you're fed, and not overdoing it. So we're trying to get people encouraged to do that and help them by providing meals. Okay. Also, uh, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, I was just wondering, like, how often do this? Um, what dictates what community you'll be in? How can the people find you, or you find them, or whatever? But right. So this is a challenge for us because this is such a large area that was impacted, all the way from the Keys right to the northernmost part of the state. You mean the Upper Keys? And, and on yeah. Up. So even uh, we've got regions or throughout the whole state of Florida right now. Um, there's uh, five regions, and we are in every region of the state right now. Um, here in the Keys, we're focused on the areas that are in the most need, and right now that's kind of from Marathon down to Key West. That's not meaning we're not serving other areas, but these are the areas that were hit the hardest and have the greatest challenges with power, utilities, uh, businesses not being able to open to sell groceries, ice. Uh, there's so many challenges here, so we're really focused here. We're headquartered. This district is right here in Big Pine Key. That's where we're staying, and we're getting out. There's uh, nine or ten of these trucks that are doing feeding. We're also bringing what's called bulk supplies. So that's uh, cleanup kits, that's uh, anything that people need, ice, uh, and, and things that also to help them work on their homes. So we're all up and down from here to Key West, and anywhere there's a need, we're happy to go. We try and get around to our personal route from Big Pine Key down to Summerland Key. We try and get out. Uh, once a day or every other day to the neighborhoods. We've sort of focused on neighborhoods like this where there's no electricity. High, high concentration of homes, but also high concentration of people with no power, no resources, and that kind of thing. Uh, we're trying to hit every street in all of those keys as quickly as we can, and we want to help as many as we can. The contractors, the, the safety, the public safety. <laughs> We're trying to feed and help everybody that's here because everybody's working hard. That you feel that in your community, you can always call 1-800-RED-CROSS and say, we need someone to come in here. Okay, great. That's awesome. So it's just kind of random. They kind of just have to catch you. You have to kind of catch them. Yeah, it's a little bit random. Uh, we do have assigned areas, and within those areas, we're free to kind of create routes because we're out here seeing where the need is, and then we try and create sort of a, a pattern or a habit. So it's up so. to your discretion in, in those with those variables. And so yes. there are other uh, vans like this going around as well with their own routes, doing the same thing? Correct, and sometimes we change to based on the needs. We go back, we report how many meals we serve. Other areas do the same. We adjust. We're also serving the shelters. Um, our route takes us to uh, Summerland Key Shelter, and uh, we just closed Sugarloaf. Those people were able to return to their homes or move to the Summerland Shelter. So, um, yeah, we the best we can say is keep your eyes out, listen for the Red Cross vehicle coming. We try and be very visible, try and make announcements over the loudspeaker. Um, ideally, we get in the habit of repetition so people know when we're going to come. Uh, but we also 
sort of balance that with making sure we're not overlooking any streets or communities or areas okay. where we might miss. And you have a, a approximate time frame throughout the day where you start and finish? Yes, yeah, so right now we're doing two meals a day. Uh, we pick up at uh, lunch and we start as early as about 10, 15, 10, 30 and we're doing lunch between 10, 30 and about 3, 15. We go and we switch over at, at our central area where uh, the Southern Baptists are providing the food uh, we load up with dinner and then we're right back out. We continue doing dinner routes right up until it, it gets dark. They like us to be kind of on our way back when it gets dark. So that's roughly about uh, 7.30 right now when we're finishing up. Okay, and do you have any idea of any kind of approximation time of how long you guys might be here? We will be here until the need is done. So Red Cross will be here in this community for as long as it takes. Uh, the plan right now is to be out on Big Pine Key. They're preparing it to be there for months, not a matter of weeks or days. The, the, the services that are being provided will change based on need. So once the power is restored and the utilities are restored and people are starting to get back into their routines and going to work, we might uh, transition over to casework so that we can identify, again, people that have Mostly. specific needs that may not be mobile feeding anymore. That kind of dwindles down. And then we start uh, doing other things, casework and follow up, and more long-term plans for people and resources. Okay, and I see, I'm, I see, I'm just curious, uh, where do you guys stay now? Does Red Cross put you guys up in a, a motel? Right, yeah. it's always different. For this particular area, uh, we were in the Marathon High School in Florida Keys Community College. Uh, we were staying about 20 to 30 in a classroom. We have offices, we set up at headquarters. Yesterday we moved to a uh, sort of a tent city on Big Pine Key. It was provided by the uh, Red Cross of Denmark, the Danish Red Cross. Um, they don't have natural disasters like this here, so they travel around the world and they provide uh, volunteer shelters and quiet shelters, places for people to stay, okay. and that's where we're staying. That's what I actually needed to know because I have friends in other states that want to know how they can come help, and I said, it seems like we have a lot of food and water, but we really need some hard labor help here. Absolutely. And uh, But the problem is putting them up places because a lot of places are too damaged. Yep. And so you can give me information and I can put it in the description where maybe volunteers can put up a tents or come stay in some kind of community, that kind of thing? Yeah, so ours is limited to Red Cross volunteers and okay. unfortunately that's not an area that I have specific training in. So um, the area we are, it's called a staff shelter or a staff base. Okay. So it's Red Cross resources for that. We do have shelters that are open to the public and uh, uh, contractors or people, guests that are here that don't have a place to stay, I, I believe are welcome at those shelters as well. So just need to look for the Red Cross shelters. Any of us can point them in that direction. And if they don't have the resources there, they'll make sure to connect the people with other resources. There's so many organizations working right now in the community and things are in flux. We don't always have all the answers or we don't always have a place for people to stay. But what we try and do is really network with the organizations, the other organizations, to make sure that we're giving the best information we can in a challenging and quickly changing environment. Okay, great. Thank you. So that's some really great information. Thank you guys for the yummy pulled pork sandwiches while we're working hard on our uh, rental here. We really, really appreciate you guys coming from a long ways away to help us out. Thank you. Thank you.